back to Europe now and Greece is taking on one of the world's most lucrative industries by trying to wipe out smoking in public again. Today marks the fourth time it's tried to enforce a ban, but with the highest proportion of smokers in any EU country, there's plenty of opposition to this move, as Nicoletano now reports. A traditional Greek cafe, a place for men to gather and pass the time. Christos Stathis, a lifelong smoker, says drinking and cigarettes go together. Greeks are the biggest smokers in Europe. The country's smoke-friendly culture is under pressure. Starting today, it will be illegal to smoke here or in any other indoor place. Tobacco taxes have gone up too, a measure aimed at raising more cash for Greece's indebted government. The owner of this kiosk says as a result, tobacco purchases are down 20%. About 70% of all my sales are from cigarettes. That means 60 to 65% of my income is from tobacco. So for us, it's a big problem that the taxes went up. In Europe, scenes like this are becoming rare. Most countries have at least a partial ban on indoor smoking. And more and more are increasing tobacco taxes as a way of tackling state deficits. Public health experts say smoking bans are one of the most effective ways of reducing smoking long term. Research has indicated that when one increases tobacco tax, one has an immediate decrease in the consumption of cigarettes. What happens though with price increase, it's a short term measure. You have to then follow up an increase in price with other measures and otherwise what happens is that the prevalence and the consumption just starts rising again. According to Euromonitor, cigarette sales in Western Europe fell 11.5 percent between 2004 and 2009. But the tobacco industry says profits are still robust. We're probably reaching a stage where this decline is going to plateau out. Uh, regardless of all the messaging, regardless of the taxation, regardless of all the other restrictions, there are a residual core of people who will continue to smoke and will enjoy doing so. For governments, the bottom line is that less smoking is good for public health. Tobacco is the one industry they hope to snuff out. Nicolitano, Bloomberg, Athens.